My name is Ashley Sean. I'm a member of the Prairie Van Pala Wajami Nation and I am a sophomore, currently a sophomore at Haskell Indian Nations University. Um, in 2000, at, the, at the turn of the 21st century, the number of Native people living in the United States was just over 2 million. Uh, according to the 2011 U.S. Census Bureau, just 270,000 or 27 percent of those Native people over the age of five could speak their, flu their language fluently or at all. Um, I believe that if I am a part of the other 73 percent, although I grew up in a fairly highly Native, high, greatly <laughs> Native populated area, I was not given the chance or the opportunity to learn my language, mainly due to lack of uh, qualified and skilled speakers, as well as places and people who are willing to teach me. Although I do not feel that this is a number that cannot be changed or altered. I believe if we emphasize how crucial language, cultural understanding and awareness is, That we can not only revive and restore pages of our history, but also pr pr preserve the languages for future generations to come. The effects of language within the culture. Okay, how this generation as well as those come to affect by life. It can be said that the vast majority of fluent speakers, not only in native not only in any community or tribe. It can be said, it can be said that the vast majority of, the vast majority of any fluent speaker in, in a community or tribe is an elder. As these loved ones fade in and out of our, as these, as these loved ones within our communities and families inevitably fade out of our world and into the next, I fear they're not only taking their wisdom and language, but pieces of our history and culture as well. I feel that this heavy burden of carrying on culture and the passing of language should not only remain on the shoulders of our elders, but instead be taken into the hearts of our youth and revered as one of the last ties to our ancestors and also the, and the old world. Native Americans are not the first to be bombarded with these issues, but we can be the first to take, we can be the first to take this type of to stop this type of loss in its tracks and bring our children up in a world that many of us were not given the opportunity to experience. While our numbers slash population are growing, our, our culture is dying, maybe dying. David Truer, author of an opinion piece in the Washington Post states, as modern Indians, I feel as if we are on a lifelong endeavor trying to find a balance between Western civiliza civilization and our traditional views and cultural beliefs. Um, the relevance of native language is continuously overlooked and forgotten. For example, the code tuckers of World War II. During this time, individual soldier survival was crucial, um, but also these code tuckers provided communication lines that otherwise wouldn't be present and would have been broken by the other side. Uh, this greatly contributed to American victory, and such a piece of American history should be attributed to, can be attributed to native language. Um, I also believe that the men of these times felt relevant. Going back to old warrior societies, they, they, they were needed and vital. And many of us have lost that today. And if we can bring that feeling back, then perhaps that'll be a part of us that we'll be able to find again. Um, How restoring and preserving our, how preserving and restoring these native languages is the question. Not only where the funding can come from, but how we can get our youth to care. Parental involvement. Uh, parental. Inv oh, the one key factor is parental involvement. If these teachings or at least a basic understanding of importance are implanted in the minds of our youth, perhaps they'll see the relevance at a young age. And instead of shunning or in, in, instead of shunning or disregarding it as generations did before. A prime example of this would be Jewish or Hebrew school. Jewish children from a young age go to this school and they're taught their language and they learn. But why? They don't do it because they have parental involvement, they have encouragement, they have people who care and they're telling them that they want them to learn this and that it is important. Why are Native children any different? Should 
we not have a basis for understanding and learning of our own people. Um, it could be intertwined with Western curriculum as well. It doesn't have to be solely Native school if there was a combination of the both, which has been tried in various communities, especially Minneapolis throughout the years. Um, maybe it could work, but I believe that an after-school program or a school itself for Native children to go to would be crucial and vital, and they would have fun as opposed to having it just be school and something they don't enjoy. If it's something they can connect to, then perhaps there would be a, high, a lower retention rate in high school just because these ties are strengthened as a child. Invest investments need to be made and channeled into creating a strong and effective base, both for youth and, and elders, uh, or people older. There are There's a, whole, a complete generation of people that were unable to learn their language, either because their parents didn't want them to, or there wasn't the necessities. Um, in tribal communities, on reservations, as well as highly populated native areas as well. Um, The teachers in these schools should be linguistically and culturally, the, the teaching, teachings within these schools should be culturally and linguisti linguistically relevant to the topic and I also believe that it may be important for these teachers to be native as well. It's hard to try to learn something from someone who's not native and or just someone you can identify with so much better. Um, in conclusion, language restoration uh, gives native peoples a chance to connect to parts of them that they may not have without. Um, it preserves what is had within each individual tribe and nation and also shows that there is a different way of lifestyle, life and different customs before European settlement. It's never too late to learn a language.